Hey guys, welcome to game three between Nagnar and Sponge. Thus far, I think Nagnar has won both matches. Immediately lift off from Nagnar in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to call this the green Zerg. And I, I know this is technically green. I'm going to call it teal, though, for Sponge at the 1 o'clock location. I wanted to do, do the color swap, but as you can see, they did not play top versus bottom. So the color swap does nothing. And I have to ask Dead Infested to make sure they play. I guess they can't because it's UMS, right? So this won't even work. So maybe choose colors that are... I half want to cast this like this just to make it even more exciting and confusing, but I will I will refrain. This is uh, on Inner Coven again, which I'm hoping the players re know this time, know that they can blow up. So this was informed. Uh, go ahead and uh, do a map reveal, but there you've got the um, the lanes here with the disruption web. But one thing is is these eggs, I believe get eliminated with one infested Terran. And I think with the splash, all three of them can be taken down by a single infested Terran. So plays much, much differently than something like ASL uh, because those lanes get opened up extremely rapidly. Middle capture from Magnar and oof, very late from Sponge. Let's see if he can get the bottom right hand base capture as well. It looks like he's splitting off to do so. And I think he has the lead to make that happen. And this has been Nagnar's game plan across the board is, is make sure he has an advantage in that regard. Actually, is he just going to send the drone to do the capture? Looks like he's sending the drone. Now the question is, is okay, does someone get Mutalisks out sooner than their opponent? Never mind, he's going to go for a 10 hatch. So Nagdar going for a 10 hatch. Sponge going for 11 spawning pool. Kind of odd build orders altogether in the midst of this. Usually you don't see 11 spawning pool. It's more like the 12 spawning pool or, or things like that. But anyway, and actually opting, so never mind, where'd that drone go? Did the drone just die? Did it just come back to the main? Spawning pool being dropped from Nagnar as well. I'm almost wondering what happened. Did it just explode magically? It's possible. Anything's possible in these maps. In the meantime, Nagnar has his command center floating into his opponent's main. This command center from Sponge nowhere near his opponent. So not only is he missing out not only, okay, Nagnar actually in chat letting me know there's an invisible floor thing. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that in Inner Coven. You've got those invisible floors that you need to attack with overlords. Um, so you need an overlord there to kill it before you can place the second hatchery. I forgot about that aspect. But anyway, Nagnar able to get this uh, in spawn. I can't even do the, the vision thing to kill. I'd have to go to the alliance. Can I do that? So let's see if we kill this and accept what happens. Nothing. We do Leviathan Brew, it's everything. If we do, so we're gonna look at Sponge's vision. He does not even know that that's happening. Has no idea that's being built. And it's just a direct attack. Maybe he has some idea, cause he's got the two something colonies being produced, but he doesn't even have the command center nearby to go for an attack. That'll be there momentarily. It looks like an overlord there for the hatchery uh, to be produced. But now the drone finding it, starting to do initial attacks. Does, I believe, have a significant, it, well, yeah, a decent time advantage on that layer. Double hits, but, ah, and does manage to nail that in, initial Invested Terran, so not able to get a victory right there. So things looking, at least initially, potentially in Sponge's favor, mostly because he has this defensive setup. So, yeah, that Infested Command Center being lifted. Aside from all these command centers at extension, ex all these bases uh, over here, Nagnar is going to be behind in the Spire timing. The question is, is it, is it going to be enough? Nagnar looks like he has enough to immediately place his spire. So what is this going to be like? 10 seconds? 10 seconds behind? But in ZVZ, typical ZVZ, that's enough to be the difference. Nagnar does have a significant economic advantage, but he's going to have to deal with... He's pulling a lot of drones to go to the natural expansion. He's going to be eating some damage here and only losing a single drone there, which is an advantage. I think this is the right play from Sponge. He's like, I got the Mutalists that are coming out earlier and he's got these infested terrans that are just going to sit there and, and pummel the lair he's trying to get his own defensive creep colonies up and that's forcing some uh counter economic build he's getting a second gas also trying to build it looks like oh that's clever building the spire at the natural expansion another base looks like it's going to be landed to try to build from there huge explosion i think this might be sponge's match uh, this time around single circling trying to peck away at this command center but that's not going to get done before this third is finished and this spire is going to be up momentarily sponge building additional mutalisks and so we're going to see so that infested terran out if he even yeah if he taps that layer no he's just going to march the natural expansion and try to wipe out 
uh, things here. That's kind of a clever play. So, oh, and he's going to get... A, I thought he was going to get more drones out of that, but a, a slight delay, only getting two drones with it. But now the Mutalisks are on the way, and that Spire was delayed enough, and actually getting weapons one as well. Uh, this is a severely... Uh, wow. So basically, I think this is Sponge's game to lose at this stage. And maybe he's going to make the mistake of attacking maybe one of these command centers out of position. He's got the, the magic number of three to go ahead and pick things off. But I think yeah, if he just dives at the main, picks off the drones, or maybe even goes off to the lair itself, uh, I think he's going to be in a strong position to win this match. More Infested Terrans being produced. Granted, they need to dive into this front something colony, I believe. It looks like they're just going to make their way to the natural expansion. more. So, so Mutalisks being produced at this stage. And actually, I wonder if they just dive in. They actually might be able to jump... So killing three drones, but actually I'm wondering if they had detonated on the the lurker eggs, if detonating on the lurker eggs would have popped them and the mutalisks might not have even spawned. So now Sponge actually opting to engage the natural expansion, more mutalisks moving in. Let's see if just a single muta stays there, but because he's at a close spawn with these mutalisks, I think he's going to end up at a disadvantage here. He's working on the spire. He is attacking interior to this base, he just needs to tap it. The Glaives are tapping this, so if he attacks eight, eight more shots, does manage to get, I think, a single hit with the Mules right there. The, the infested turn of the air cleaning up some additional troops, so Nagnar with a momentary advantage, but still more infested Terrans being produced at location and more Mutalisks being produced in the main. <laughs> I like this play from Nagnar trying to block uh, the building selection from the main. The Zerglings once again re-engaging, trying to tap away at this. More Scourge being produced. It looks like a handful of Scourge out of what was left of the Spire being produced. And Magnar going to be able to take out Sponge's one infested command center, I believe. As this infested Terran, I think, is going to be the last one. It's running its way across. I don't think it's long for life unless these Mutalisks are going to be able to save it. Scourge going to go ahead and get some scouting information. But all Sponge has to do is keep producing Mutalisks. And I think he'll be in a good position to win this match. Now engaging that Spore Colony uh, at the main. If he can go ahead and transfer the natural expansion and should be able to win this. This Overlord in trouble. Sponge trying to stay in this match, but Nagnar making a really good fight. He still has two infested command centers at a, a defensive position. He's working his way through these stasis prisons. That's going to take a really long time uh, with those Zerglings. He's getting his own evolution chamber up for reasons unknown. I'm not sure he realizes that there's no Spire. Nagnar does not have a Spire. Sponge in the red. Maybe because... Uh, huh. So losing that Overlord. He's in the red. Level 1 Weapons is finishing. And Sponge maybe just wanting to be on the defensive to deal with... Oh, I feel like maybe missing an opportunity here. Because that's... But Nagnar not realizing what's happening. He's in a defensive situation with his own Spore Colonies is delaying a little bit on getting his own Spire up, and honestly, his economy has been struggling, but he's he's up uh, 19 drones to 11. So he's still got an opportunity to swing right back in this match. Another Creep Colony being dropped. So Sponge, once again, playing uh, much more defensive. He's not droning behind this. But uh, he still has the Mutalisk advantage. He's going to be able to kill this Infested Command Center that's sitting above his base. At the very least. So small victories there. I'm not going to call it Pyrrhic, but does win. The Zergling's going to go ahead and take this uh, Stasis Prison down momentarily. To go ahead and open up access to the middle. Which, yeah, you can go ahead and take that base. Um, maybe he wants to open up just to have access to the ground army. I feel like that would be a mistake. Because that would be opening up Nagnar's opportunity to have his own superior economy... Uh, push through. Still no infested... Okay, sorry. Now infested Terran's being produced on location. And this could be the way Nagnar sneaks back into this match and actually wins it. So the Zergling's starting to work through that stasis prison. The Mutalisks going to try to engage this natural expansion, but there's plenty of spore colonies right there. They might be able to take this gas out. That would be a significant win. But in the meantime, this infested Terran going to sneak right around and take out the Spire. So now the situation is completely reversed. With Nagnar... With a big economic lead. Pretty decent defenses. He's having to back off this extractor. He's losing a drone here, though. But he's got a dominant economy. Uh, nice defensive situation at his main. He's getting his Spire up well ahead of his opponent. And he has two offensive infested command centers. This one's being assailed by some Mutalisks, it looks like. But not before this 
Infested Terran was able to sneak through and maybe, again, whittle down that drone count. And landing there, doing significant damage to the Spore Colony and picking off a, a drone on top of it. So loses his Extractor. He is going to be able to go ahead and grab another one. He's got his own Evolution Chamber in position. These mules trying to open up the Stasis Prism. Maybe with a flood of units and just the pure mules that are on the ground. <laughs> discovering, oh wait, there's another Stasis Prism underneath that Stasis Prism. Um, I think it's the northern one. that I don't remember how all of this works, to be entirely honest. But no Infested Terrans being produced to the north. Sponge grabbing his second base, finally. Uh, but this is 30 drones compared to just nine on the opposite side of the map. Odd play from Nagnar, he's gonna tech up to Hive. Uh, or maybe he just wants Queens? I'm not sure of the play there that would win in the match. Usually you just wanna produce Mutilus, Mutilus, Mutilisks uh, to try to sneak in this match and, and to cap it out. But And he is starting to produce some Mutilisks, but he is mo pretty vastly outnumbered. The door is open. We got six Zerglings and it looks like Nine Mutalisks starting to dive in towards the main. Now, there's four Mutalisks on defense. The Zerglings look like they're just going to run by, dive to the natural expansion. They're getting cleaned up by the Mutalisks overhead. Never mind, it looks like a handful of those Zerglings are going to sneak through. Sponge's Air Force in superiority is going to engage there. Are there Mutalisks being produced here at the natural? Looks like they are there, So these, but some drones being taken out. Sponge, I think I missed another attack. Yeah, I missed another Infested turn exploding at the main here. Um, and Nagnar finally getting his own air fleet up. Still inferior numbers and actually inferior upgrades, but uh, at close reinforcement points, and also with the superior economy, should be able to work this. More Zerglings trying to make their way out to the natural. They are going to get there. The single mules to try to defend, but that's going to be a lot of damage that those Zerglings can wreak. Two Creek Colonies being dropped. So Sponge getting some economic damage done. These meals being wiped out. and But the Zerglings just completely cleaning out the natural expansion. And they, they're they going to get the hatchery as well. And Sponge, it looks like, has not expanded. So I think that was either disrupted or canceled, something along those lines. Magnar should be able to rebuild and should be able to rebuild rapidly and be able to defend this as far as a, a countermeasure. Um, let's see if he goes ahead yeah, and plants another hatchery. So he's going to retake that lead. He's also grabbed another expansion to this upper left-hand corner, so really making a match of it. A bunch of Zerglings being produced from Sponge, so Sponge can just try to win it on the ground and just be able to try to devastate everything underneath while these Mutalisks do their just uh, sit incompetent above. Two Zerglings are going to sneak through. They're not long for life. Still no additional expansion for Sponge at all. And an Infested Terran walking in. This and He's down to five drones. Infested Terrans have been walking through here in the midst of all that match. Another drone down. I'm not sure that's the best exchange. But he's down to just four. So he's got to get it done with just the Zerglings he has. The Mutalists are completely out of position to defend any of this, though. But there's still Sunken Colonies to buy time. They're just diving straight into the main. They're just going to suicide and try to take out what they can, spreading out. But keep in mind, this is probably Sponge's last hurrah. So the Zerglings remain. Still have one Sunken Colony to try to defend. The drones getting involved in the action. They're going to go ahead and clear that out. And there's GG from Sponge. So... Thus far, I think Dagnar winning the matches across the board again. Was it a best? Of, I'll have to ask if it was best of seven or best of five from Dagnar in chat. We'll know down the, excuse me, down the line. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, interesting matches. Thanks for listening.